Now, for more than a decade, Britney Spears has been living under her dad's conservatorship. Uh, it means he controls her finances, her business deals, and even the visitors she invites to her home. Now she's trying to regain control in a lengthy court battle. And for the first time, the superstar is going to address the controversy herself. They're the pictures the world will never forget. A bald Britney Spears at the height of her mental health struggles in 2007. Soon after, she was hospitalised and placed under a legal conservatorship controlled by her father, Jamie Spears. Britney returned to work back to the life of a successful star, but in the eyes of the law, deemed unfit to make decisions for herself. Now she is fighting to change that. She said, I don't want my father to be the conservator. That was her one request. She wanted a professional, somebody independent. Last year, a judge denied Britney's request to remove her father as conservator. But there was a small win with an independent office appointed to share the role. Tomorrow, the case continues and Britney will speak out for the first time. American entertainment blogger Perez Hilton joins us for more now. Morning to you. Britney has remained quiet all these years, at most, I guess, simply asking fans for privacy. What are we expecting to hear from her tomorrow? Well, there was an explosive article from the New York Times here that was just published, and they claim to be in possession of leaked court documents proving that Britney Spears wants out of this conservatorship. For many years now, she's been trying to get out of it, and the New York Times claims that a court-appointed investigator interviewed Britney. She says that she was forced to work against her will, that she was forced in 2019 to go into a mental health facility against her will, and she viewed that as retribution or payback for speaking out and all of us pretty much are expecting her to say one of two things. Either I want this conservatorship to remain in place, but with changes. The biggest one is removing her father permanently as her conservator, or she just wants it to end totally. Yeah. And I think what all Britney fans want is for her to be happy and for what she wants to happen. OK. Um, Perez, her dad controls her finances, her business deals but also who visits her at home. I didn't realise the extraordinary lengths that this goes to. What will she have to prove to get her dad fired from her? Even more than that, you know, the conservatorship also has a say in who she dates. Cool. It's that, yeah, it's, it's that extreme. Um, I think that um, hearing from her because she doesn't do that. Brittany has not shown up in court in years, pleading the case herself and also consulting with her team of doctors. Uh, hopefully a judge would take that into consideration because there are so many people in America and all over the world that suffer from severe mental health issues who are not under a conservatorship. Mm. Mm. So why is Britney Spears under one, and especially one that allegedly, according to reports claiming that she does not want it to maintain, why 13 years later is this still in place? Yeah, yeah it's, she's it's, not 14 anymore. Yeah, it sounds bizarre, doesn't it? Um, and you, in fact, have recently apologised for comments you made all those years ago. Um, tell us about why you went that far. Well, I'm old now. <laughs> I'm in my 40s, and I think and I hope that a lot of us, the older we get, the more we have an understanding of life. And I also have children, and I think having kids gives you more empathy. I recently was sitting down doing an interview for a documentary, and I caught myself slipping up saying something that I used to say back in the day. I was talking about somebody else, and I said, oh, she was a hot mess. And then I stopped and I said, no, 
we shouldn't talk about people that way because instead of saying that person's a hot mess, let's try to have some understanding. We can say that person's really going through it, is struggling. Uh, and I hope that, you know, the people watching Sunrise today are in agreement with that because while I think the media has gotten better over the years, and I would like to think I have as well, I'm not sure if the general public has gotten that much better. Mm. Mm. Yeah, really uh, good point. Uh, yeah, it is a good point. And it makes you feel like one day she is going to tell us exactly what she went through, all about the paparazzi. So thanks very much for being so honest, Prez. Thank you.